Okay, so this is a full system test for the LED and a fidgets relay module. Um, we have 48 volts, four 12 volt batteries in series. This one's pretty much dead. I think it was at like five volts, something like that. So we're getting about 42 volts to the regulator. That puts out 12 volts into the step up converter and the converter powers this LED through the relay board. And my, my bottom side ROV control board uh, controls the relay. So this is our imaginary tether. You hit the uh, you hit the relay enable button, and it will control that light right there. And the board is powered off the 12 volt convert converter. So 48 to 12, 12 powers the board, and then 12 runs through here to 21 volts, and then 21 volts to the LED. And then this will they'll gauge our current at 21 volts, powering the LED. Okay, so this is how bright it is in the room. It's 3 o'clock here. So ambient lighting from those windows. Um, the LED, now we'll face Okay, power. That's 48 volt connection. If I can hit it right, there we go. Here we go, we got, or not communication. There we have power to everything. Um, Okay, we're going to enable. Okay, ready for triggering. Um, so, you can see that's on, off, on, off, like that. Um, here's, hopefully you can see the difference. That's off. Pull it back a little bit more. That's on. So that's controlled pretty well, I think. I think so. I don't see any problem with that pulsing. It's got a latch latching timer in the code, so it won't uh, flicker the pin on the relay. It's just going to turn it on once and turn it off once. So, and then uh, this little step up step up module. So right now we're at about half an amp, um, and this step up module we're, we set it at twenty one point three. At half an amp, it's still at 21.3, so it's very consistent. It's rated to three amps, but uh, I think it'll it's good for 20. It's good for 21 volts and half an amp at least, probably more. And this is a Fidget's dual relay. Not in the best condition, but it's uh, doing the job just fine.